festival today. Are we looking at sustainable transport? This, this project called Walk This Way is actually a project that I'm involved in with um, Creative Peterborough. And what we've actually done, we've actually commissioned 11 local artists to actually take part in what we say like pimping up a pair of shoes. Well this piece um, is actually called um, A Long Time Spent In My Shoes. And that's why it's actually got, for example, it's got a clock on the front of it, just looking at the time. And the thing is, we spend so much time in our shoes. That's really what I'm looking at. But also having a bit of fun as well with the actual art piece. And, you know, I'm a painter. I don't really do much 3D pieces. So it's actually fun actually doing something like this. Uh, my piece is called Old Souls. Um, and basically, it was I was given a bag, got donated a bag of children's shoes. Um, and they were, they were almost pristine. And what I did was I took the boy's sandals and um, chopped all the paraphernalia off them and then the, the base of the girls shoes there were little rubber um, daisies and flowers and I cut those out and I made it into a sort of flower bed if you like with these rubber flowers coming off and it was really just to address the, the, this idea of sustainability and consumerism and if we continue to consume then possibly we could be left with only rubber flowers. My piece is called Shoes, the collection, numbers 1 to 72, and consists of 72 paper shoes made out of found maps that have all been pinned um, into a case, which is kind of mimicking how natural history displays would have happened in museums. I've written all the sort of like coordinates of where I cut the shoes from on the maps in the back of the shoes where you would have a shoe size, and they're all displayed within a um, wooden box and um, as I say, mimicking butterflies or cocoons or and other forms of natural history specimens. I think it's about the consumerism of it. I mean, in this country, um, as far as I'm aware, we, can, we buy about 97 million pairs of shoes a year. The fact that we don't necessarily hold on to them for very long, um, and so we're sort of we're trying to say that if we carry on with that consumption, you know, we can't sustain it. Another thing that, that's come to the fore is, of course, people um, can make shoes for us in terrible circumstances or you know bad uh, factory practice. Uh, we have them, we keep them for a small period of time, and then the cyclically they go back round to the people that have made them. But they're you know they're ruined by that time, and yeah, that is that is quite a sobering thought. What, what we actually did, we actually picked um, artists that worked totally in different ways. So we actually looked at how some of the artists work. I mean, for example, we've got someone who does mosaic, we've got someone who works with metal, you know, we've got people who actually just paint, we've got a street artist. So, you know, by using the way that they actually work, um, it means that the, the outcome is going to be totally different. So each piece will be totally, totally, totally different. But it will have each artist's imprint on, on the piece. And it's actually worked really, really well. Well, I'm really pleased with actually how many people have come down to look at the artworks and how, how many people are actually really interested to come and, and see art and actually been trying to engage with people and get them to come over and actually once they get over there and they look at them, they're actually really interested and it's just, it's really great to see people, you know, people in the community actually engaging with art. Mm -hmm.